Hello everybody and welcome back to another new video on the channel. Today we're talking about the next episode for One Punch Man. And is it weird that I want to say that this episode felt like it was setting up for something? I don't know why, when, but after I, you know, finished the episode and after I, I kind of like sat down and thought about it a little bit, for some reason it felt like it was trying to set up for something important. Uh, and I'm not talking about like the final scene at the end of the credits uh, or after the credits when they, whenever they show off like basically like the big bad guy of the monster association uh like monster king orochi or whatever his name is I, I actually believe that's it but uh just i don't know it was really weird it felt like they were trying to set up for something and of course they are trying to set up for something that's what what, what every episode pretty much attempts to do right but this episode in particular even though there was a lot of action and even though i thought the action was enjoyable in its own way it still felt really, not weird, but if something was just telling me, like, yeah, it's going to set up for something, like, even bigger that's going to happen, like, very, very soon. But, I don't know, it was really weird. But the episode starts off with Lightning Max, a pro hero from Class A, and he's fighting this Suryu guy, and apparently he's, like, extremely fucking strong. Uh, you know, probably stronger than a lot of the a lot of these heroes in these different class divisions. Um, in the episode, he says he hasn't trained in like two years, but he's defeating guys in like one punch, not like Saitama, like literal one punch, but like he's still significantly stronger than a lot of these a lot of the guys that he's fighting against, which is. You know, the only other person we really expect that from is Saitama, so I'm just, like, really curious what they're building up with this guy in particular. Like, are they actually going to make it seem like he's ridiculously strong and he's going to be able to keep up with Saitama? Or is it just something else? Or are they just trying to build him up and he's going to be of a, be of importance somewhere else? But the episode, of course, continues, and uh, Genos actually decides to actually go and do some some hero work uh, because he kind of has to and that's because a lot of monsters were appearing in the area where the venue for the martial arts tournament was taking and so he goes and he does like whatever he's gonna go do he defeats a couple of these monster creatures and then uh, ironically he actually runs into a cockroach and he he gives him a pretty difficult time because this cockroach like monster creature even though it has like a human looking face it's like really fast and it's like I mean like really really fast like Genos can't even keep up with him and Genos actually has a way of defeating him and he actually has like this this sticky like oil slick looking thing coming out from uh, his Achilles heel and that stops this this cockroach monster thing. I don't even know what the, what the hell its name is supposed to be. I have no idea. They don't, they don't give him a name at all. They just call him a cockroach and that's it. <laughs> so, uh, what I actually found really important about that scene though is that it's setting up for uh, Sonic and Genos potentially fighting again in the near future because uh, Genos, the reason why he had that implemented into his whole like mechanical body was because he is prepared to fighting fight Sonic again for whatever they do encounter, and Genos even mentions the fact that now he, uh, he by him using that he acknowledges that Sonic is extremely fast and Genos is barely able to keep up, and uh, of course as, as all that's happening the tournament is still progressing and of course Saitama goes in and he goes into his fight and he's fighting a guy called Bakuzan I believe that's what his name is. Uh, the guy is, apparently was a two-time like winner. Uh, he's supposed to be really, really strong. He's saying like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna kick your legs, and it's gonna be f so hard. I'm gonna kick your legs so hard that they're gonna break, and you're never gonna be able to walk again. I'm gonna chop your fucking head in half, and you know you're gonna be dead. I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker." And then just, of course, Saitama was just like, "Don't touch my head," because like Bakuzan, yeah, that's his name, like like has his head resting has his hand resting on Saitama's head and then Saitama's like don't touch my fucking head or he just like don't touch my head and then he defeats them in one punch of course everyone's surprised because apparently this guy Bakuzan is supposed to be really really strong and then all of a sudden 
you know, Charanko, he's Saitama disguised as Charanko. He's just, he's supposed to be, he's, he's perceiving himself as an amateur. Like, he doesn't even know how to tie his, his ori, like, at all, properly. And <laughs> it's just, I think it's really funny. I thought it was really funny and enjoyable to watch. And, uh, I don't know why, just that one in particular scene kind of made me really, really laugh. But we continue on, and there's... Uh, we get back to Fubuki because, as you know, she was fighting that that lady with the whip. I actually don't remember her name, and she she whips the hell out of Fubuki the way like you can like the back of her outfits like ripped and stuff. And she starts actually getting a little bit serious, but um, for I, for some reason, I, well, I guess it kind of makes sense if you really like think about it. But Tatsumaki, uh, Fubuki's sister. Her older sister uh, can actually like tell whenever Fubuki's like sustaining damage, and she shows up and she scares off this lady with the whip and looks like a dominatrix, uh, and on along the way actually destroys a lot of other monster creatures as well. So kind of cool, but we didn't really get to see anything, and I was actually kind of hoping that Fubuki would actually do some some really cool stuff because it really seemed like they were like building that up to, to happen but it didn't happen and it just kind of ends off with Hatsumaki showing off scaring away this dominatrix lady and then <laughs> Fubuki's like little like posse gang like gets thrown into a building because Tatsumaki thinks that like like oh yeah they're being mind controlled and they're in the way blah 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 whatever um the episode continues we go back and um uh, snake bite snake. We actually did see him in season one. I actually forgot who he was, but then they showed flashbacks of what of like season one clips for when he met Saitama and when that uh, uh, Ocean Demon King or whatever his name was uh, showed up, and he joined the tournament to just you know get stronger. And he's fighting against Suryu, and um, his that guy's personality starts revealing itself, and he's. He's kind of just an asshole. Like, that's all he really is. He's just a giant asshole who's, like, really only in this for the money. And, you know, he really is because, as I explained earlier, he hasn't trained in, like, two years. So, he's just in it in the money and he's wondering, you know, if the Class A guys are, like, this weak, then uh, maybe I could join up and be a hero. But I would only be in it for the money and stuff or whatever. Um... But, you know, he starts mentioning how, you know, the weak are going to die off and only the strong are going to survive. And, you know, it shows, you know, the, their panels come up on the screen and it shows uh, Saitama, who's in, who's in the the restroom, which I thought was funny. Uh, and then it showed Garo and then uh, I think uh, Tatsumaki. Yeah, Tatsumaki as well. It was actually kind of surprising that it showed her, but I guess she is really strong, so... Makes sense, but then after the credits, we get you know a couple more scenes, and they start uh, explaining that there's actually uh, this like other monster guy who's going to be uh, going towards the martial arts tournament, uh, Gokutsu, and uh, he's heading over there. I don't know what's gonna happen with him at the at that one tournament, but so far three S class heroes are, have been taken down. Uh, one of uh, Metal Knights, uh, like like models was taken down uh metal bat as we know was taken down and in this episode as well uh genos got taken out by i'm assuming goketsu i'm i'm assuming i actually have no idea it what it makes me want to assume that it was him but i have no idea so that's pretty much how the episode you know pretty much ends it just ends off with that with the monster association being really confident that you know with what they're doing is going to turn on their favor and I just heard something fall over but I think it's it's okay it's whatever <laughs> anyways that's pretty much it for the video I apologize if you did hear that I don't think it's gonna happen again but whatever uh, I have another video that I actually want to get out really really soon actually two, I actually have two other videos I really want to get out really really soon but I think one of them I'm gonna do especially because it's almost E3 and I really want to get you know some stuff out about regarding E3 before E3 actually happens, which happens on June 11th. So mark your calendar, whatever. Just go ahead and do that. But anyways, that's the end of the episode, which we just the end of the video. If you did enjoy for whatever reason, be sure to leave a like. If you are new, subscribe for more videos just like this. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day. I'm out. Peace.